Circuits for automation and modulators often use solid-state assemblies, which have characteristics of a device with the same parameters of the emitter circuit and the collector circuit and with considerable power. An example of such circuit is a reverse transistor consisting of a symmetrical power transistor T1, usually obtained by means of two relatively high-powered germanium transistors that are connected under the scheme in Figure 3, and two low-powered control transistors T2 and T3 that are connected in parallel to passages of the power transistor. The emitters of control transistors are connected to the power transistor base, and the emitter junctions are connected in parallel by R resistors. Control transistors of the voltage supply and the power transistors are a voltage divider. When polarity of the control voltage is as shown in figure 2, transistor T2 is open and saturated, that is, it is a short circuit, transistor T3 is closed, that is, it is a very high resistance. For the voltage polarity shown in figure 2, the right junction of the power symmetric transistor is emitter and the left collector. Thus, if transistor T2 is open and saturated, transistor T3 is closed. The power transistor is counter-connected in figure 4. It is easy to see that in this case it is a short circuit for power current, flowing from clamp 1 to clamp 2. If you change the polarity of the power voltage plus at clamp 1 and minus at clamp 2, the left junction of the symmetric power transistor is emitter and right collector. And if transistor T2 is still open and saturated and the transistor T3 is closed, the power transistor is counter-connected. It is easy to see that for such polarity of power and control voltage, the power transistor is virtually closed. Therefore, in this case, the direction from clamp 2 to clamp 1 will be conducting. Due to its properties, a reverse transistor is an important element in symmetric switching circuits of automation.